So this is the next bridge that we're going to analyze. This is a reinforced concrete bridge built in the 1930s, and the span, which curves around uh, like so, is about 120 feet, and it's held up by this reinforced concrete arch. And it's quite remarkable, especially at the time, for the thinness of the arch and these vertical supports that are holding up the roadway. So this bridge is called the Schwandbach Bridge in Swiss Switzerland, and I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but it was designed by Robert Mollart. And um, again, it really was quite innovative at the time. Uh, so some of the statistics are here you can read about. So span of 37 meters or about 120 uh, feet. And this is what's really remarkable is the arch is uh, only about 200 millimeters thick. So it's really, really quite thin, especially for concrete. And now it's important uh, in a concrete structure that all the loads be in compression. So concrete is very good in compression but it's not very good in tension or in uh, bending. And so here's a diagram of the bridge through the engineering drawings. Uh, so from the side, we see the arch. We see these vertical supports here holding the load of the bridge upwards. And then we see from the top the curve. And so what we're gonna do is kind of ignore this curve and we're just gonna analyze this arch in exactly the same way that we did the suspension bridge. Okay, so let's analyze this structure. So all I've done is printed out my image. Now we're gonna draw on it. So the first thing we have to do is label our regions. So this is just the suspension bridge, but turned upside down. So the space above, I'm going to call A. Uh, I mean, the space below, I'm just gonna call A. And now we'll work our way around labeling the regions between each of our vertical loads. So B, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. Now we need to count our loads. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're just going to assume that those are all equal loads pushing down. And so let me just highlight where they all are because it might be a little bit hard to see on this cluttered engineering drawing. Um, but there are those ten loads there. So now let's draw our vertical load line. And I'm gonna use a half inch scale for this. Um, so I'm gonna draw a five inch line. Uh, let's just start here. I'll make marks at each half inch. And so these are gonna be points B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. And so now all I have to do is find point A. So we're gonna do the exact same thing that we've done in our previous videos, where I'm just gonna take the angle from the structure and propagate it up to my force diagram. So I'm gonna start with line C to A, um, simply because uh, the one at B, there's not much of an angle to grab there. So go to C, slide that point up, just draw a line here. Now I'm just going to go to each line, uh, propagate them up, and if I do it carefully, and if our understanding works out, hopefully they'll all start to converge at one point. So let's go to E. there we're already at H I and the final one okay now you can see due to some uncertainty here that our point A is really kind of a region uh, some of that's just because of inaccuracy of me sliding the ruler. Uh, some of it is because if you notice very carefully that the spacing of these loads is not all equal. And so even though our points don't quite line up, they actually are quite good. And so we see then that this uh, structure here, if we flip it upside down, 
ought to look exactly like we saw with the suspension bridge. In one way we can see the equivalence between our suspension bridge and our arch bridge is to take the picture and flip it upside down, uh, which I've done here. And then what I've done is I've taken a chain. So a chain hanging under its own weight is kind of exactly the same as a string with a lot of little weights hanging at each point. And the chain's convenient because it weighs more than a string, so it'll pull down tightly under its own weight. So I've held this, this chain, taped it to a wall, and you can see that the shape that the chain hangs naturally, right, which every link in the chain has to be in tension, is exactly equivalent in shape to we see that this arch bridge, meaning that the in the arch bridge, that the concrete, the concrete that makes up that arch, would all be in only compression.